Howdy folks, this is Coleman Alderson and here we are at our Northern Garden. Beautiful day today, it's about mid-September and we are going to look at growing and especially harvesting our beautiful Roselle hibiscus plants. But uh, we usually refer to it as the Roselle and it is a beautiful variety of hibiscus. Now, we set these out as little plants that we'd grown from seed back in May. And this one here is growing in a raised bed and it uh, has taken off. It, it loves where it is. All these locations I'm showing you are pretty tight. They're all in the full sun. So um, they're easy. They're really easy to uh, get started growing by seed. I, I've had like two years now running where it's been real easy to get these guys going. A little bit harder to take them in the house over the winter in a pot, but as easy as it is to grow these by seed, I don't have any problem in just, you know, end of the season when they freeze out, just letting them go and uh, not worrying about till springtime. So we have a beautiful flower for those that are growing the Roselle hibiscus in colder climates, we're in zone seven. It seems like the flower comes on late toward into the fall. Reason is they flower according to the shortening of the days. So those that live in more northern climates, colder climates, may wish to start their Roselles in seed early in the spring and let the plants grow on a bit before they set them outside and it is just gorgeous. The more you look at it, the more refinement you see. Tiny lines, a little fringe of light pinkish color around the edge, deep dark maroon and a yellow center. And uh, these, by the way, are very attractive to pollinators, so you're getting a bonus there. And after that, it blooms out and it begins to close up, it begins forming these pods, you see? and these are what they call calyxes, which is essentially right here at the stem, at the bottom of the, of the flowering um, part. And some are larger than others. We like to pick the largest ones. So we'll be going after these guys that are pretty good size. There's a little detail. And this guy, pretty good size. Um, a, about the size of my thumb and then we have some giants down here that are, we'll be harvesting as well and uh, they're really a good size so so here's just a handful of our harvest these were cut with a pair of scissors so we could not do damage to the leaflets we want to preserve those now these will be taken in and split and dried out it'll take about a week or so and then we'll be putting them into um, making tea. They can also be used for making jelly and a bunch of other things. For more information, check the link down below here that we posted on our article on Gardensall.com. That's it for Gardensall. Please subscribe to our, our channel and pay attention. Go ahead, click that little bell and you'll get alerts on everything that we're doing and we'll be glad to share with you our adventures. So I hope everything's going well with you. And if you happen to be a fan of the Roselle hibiscus, let us know. Let us know how you're enjoying it. We'd love to hear from you. Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. So long.